Hello there folks, Nerdy John here with some very noisy neighbors, but let's get into the video. Deaf noodles, deaf noodles, when I think you're irrelevant, you come back with some spicy takes. You know, first it was the false rape accusations that you would levy around, around like crazy, then there was the whole Boston, New York type of like new dynamic for your quote unquote character. And now you've been obsessing over Keemstar. Literally almost every video is you talking about Keemstar in some way, shape, and form. Including on your podcast channel. Your first episode was talking about Keemstar. And now we have you supposedly wanting to sue him. A lot of you have been asking me why haven't I sued him yet. Well, after he published that tweet, I did talk to a lawyer. And the lawyer told me it was basically going to be four years of my life and it was going to be about four to five hundred thousand dollars in order to sue him here in California. And I don't have that money, folks. Now, I'm not going to ask you to pay for this lawsuit. My idea is since uh, since I've been having a lot of conversations with different creators behind the scenes who since they saw what happened to me, they've been approaching me. They've been telling me their stories with Keemstar. I've had like maybe over 20 people who shared the stories of how Keemstar personally defamed them and tried to destroy their careers. What I want to do is I want to start a class action lawsuit against Keemstar. And I'm very serious about this. I've had people tell me that they lost anywhere between five and six million dollars as a result of Keemstar's lies. So the only way that I see that we can combat this is if we do it together. Because I don't think anybody wants to go to court. Going to court is just hell it really is it's a lot of money it's a lot of stress and uh, i think that if we do it together that maybe we can all just carry a little bit of the peace together and um and hopefully get out on the other side with uh, something positive that will ensure that people can feel safe on the internet again because as long as this guy is on the internet nobody's safe folks he's going to continue lying and continue trying to destroy people's lives like i said yesterday folks uh, you probably have your own keemstar in your life uh, and you probably figured out your way to deal with it this is my way to deal with it so if you're a creator who has been slandered or defamed by keemstar or he's lied about you uh please get in contact with me i am very serious about this uh, starting a class action lawsuit i i've had actually two people so far who have expressed interest as we can see here, he is very, very determined to get not only himself, but dozens of other creators on board to sue the infamous Keemstar. And I love how apparently Keemstar is totally irrelevant because his numbers, you know, but at the same time, he's a monster. He's vicious. He'll go after anyone. Y you know, it's... Obviously, we have uh, infamous characters such as Ethan Ralph, where they've fallen off for sure and are still dangerous. But you're claiming like he has no relevancy. And so <laughs> why is he a danger to you? Y you know, um, and then any like you haven't been able to prove that it was him who got your Twitter taken away. He would have helped you. If you didn't violate the rules, and I'm not talking about having a spicy may may, I'm talking about those accusations that you love to throw around, including the fact that you're claiming now that he is responsible for your videos being taken down. Now, granted, if he is actually responsible for the videos taken down, then you should do everything you can to get those back up. However, there's no real proof that it's been Keemstar, and everything else has been proven for the most part that he's not responsible for them, or at worst are inconclusive. It would be hilarious to find out who the other two creators he's gotten born on this project. Uh, my guess would be Ethan Klein and Trisha Paytas, although... Who knows about that? <laughs> you know, it would you know what would be funny is if like in return Keemstar got all the creators that Deaf Noodles has made videos on. Like James Charles, uh let's get Tati, not 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 uh what Tan Tana Mongoose, what whatever the, the, the N-word girl from iDubs. Like 
just get like a bunch of people you've made videos on and just have them sue you. I would love to see that if I'm being quite honest with you. But anyway, this is Nerdy John signing out. Have a lovely day.